Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. We're going to be going up against a Riven in the top lane. Uh, Riven, as you guys know, is a very solid champ and just got buffed. But good news is Renekton is supposed to be very, very good into Riven because of the shield breaker mechanic, which I'll show you how to abuse in this matchup to just dominate this. Anyways, let's get going. Let's go longsword three pot start. Longsword three pot start and walk back to lane. Artyo, why longsword three pot start? Good question. So basically guys, a three pot start, what's the reasoning behind this? Is that I do not have teleport. I do not have teleport and the runes that I'm taking is very, very hefty later in the game. I'm running scaling CDR runes. I am running, <laughs> I'm running the other AD scaling CDR runes. I kind of hurt you already just off those two things. I have more though. I have more things kind of hurt me a little bit. I'm running Conquer. Uh, Conquer, as you guys know, scales better in PTA, but early game, it is a little bit worse. Again, I'll go and make a video and go over everything about Conquer and all the builds that I'm currently running uh, as of patch 9.19. Also, we're going Gathering Storm and Transcendence. As y'all know, does nothing till 10 minutes. Not a thing. This is nothing to level 10. So they don't really do much for you. But my statistic, I'm kind of behind. Let's do this. Oh, Gragas. I didn't leash. It feels bad. Remember, it's first game of the day, though, so I'm probably taking a little slow to start out. Get in the rhythm. Uh, Riven is going to have priority. So remember, Riven is going to have priority level one, level two versus you in these matchups. If he's going to die CS, you can try to somehow get priorities, but not that big video. It's really not. Like I said, at level three is when you start to make plays in this game. All right, anyways, uh, the lane is slow pushing back. There's more minions on his side. I would love to get this. He's like, oh, I want to trade, but I don't want to use all my Qs. He missed the first Q. I knew I was out of range of his first Q. Yeah, we're just giving up the priority. This is a lot of matchups. It doesn't mean you can't establish priority in some matchups early, but Renekton is pretty bad level one. And the reason behind our passive, doesn't really do anything for level one, like at all. Just have to give a little bit of things here, guys. And we're no major rush. We want to get a level three. That's where we can start making plays here in this game. Ah. I dash it down. Dang it. And level two is still stronger than me. You can still like kind of trade a little bit level two. I think you want him though. See how much damage he did though? Like very little. And that's because of the runes that I'm taking. But I'm going to just be nutty. This is one of the builds I'm running a lot on stream lately. So I cannot wait to make this video for you guys. We'll call you there. We kind of lost a trade, but the good thing about Riven is um, any bad trades, as long as like, a super bad loss, Remember, you have, like, sustain. Riven has no sustain, like, at all on his kit. So you have your Q heal. You got to keep using that Q heal. Uh, and also, don't be afraid to use your W. Remember, even if he does use his shield, as long as it's empowered, he can't break it. You break a shield and you ignore the complete amount of damage. Don't be afraid to use your W. I'll show you here as well. But remember, though, if you use your W and not use his shield, you need to run away. Most combos, I'm going to start off with my W just to break the shield. And then try to get Q and then probably dash away. Unless he uses shield. If I broke his shield, then I might look for more. It just depends. We are level four though, and we are starting to establish a priority. Because the lane's slow pushing back, and all he really needs are level three with his fatty rage bar, and he has to respect it. Which is what he's doing right now. He is very much respecting and playing pretty far back. Uh, there's a lot of things happening mid lane right now. Uh, map cover is off, so you guys can see that. There's two junglers. There's a jungler, and there is the mid lane over there. So we know we are free game on this ribbon. He's not really walking up. Again, I'm not in any rush. If this set of lane's going to be, it's fine. Uh, Riven's going to respect me. I mean, I have too many minions. I would love to trade with them, guys. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I, I'm running all these scaling runes. I'm not in any rush. If anything, I'm planning on backing in a second. I'll like just make sure it shoves all the way in. He broke the shield. You see how I still did the full amount of damage? That time we watched him use his E. All right, I run still mid. I'm going to back just yes and see it. Um, the auto music takes me an aggro. Bad. <laughs> see right there. You see how you should ease into me? It doesn't work for Renekton because of shield break mechanics. So as long as you start your combos every single time with your W, you're going to be fine. You're going to literally win every trade as long as you just do it right. But remember though, your cooldowns are longer than Riven's. You see how my E's still down? His dash is pretty much always up. You got to respect that very much. Especially after Riven buffs. So they just gave him a little more damage on his kit. So if you do make a mistake, 
You can still die. Riven can 100% kill you. I'll hold this wave here if I can. I don't think I'm able to hold this very well. I should, probably should have backed. Because one thing that Riven has on me that I should have kept more uh, idea of, of, he has teleport. I don't. I'm going to try to hard shove this lane. Uh, if Riven does TP on the lave, though, I have my R. So Riven can't stop me, and I should still be able to shove it out. Yeah. I just want to make sure, like, there's no way he can stop me. I had to make sure I start shoving really hard because guess what he's going to have on me? He's going to have items. got to make sure he shoves in. Remember, we have no TP. Just walk it in. Walk it in. Walking in. He wanted to make sure he hold the wave. I'm not going to give him that opportunity. All right, looks like his jungler might be on his way. We're going to ghost now. I'm going to walk out. <laughs> I love ghosts. People always ask on stream, RTL, why take ghosts? That's exactly why. It's it's such a safety. It's such a nice safety. Set. You can always just get out of bad situations like that and just always escape. So I love, I love it. All right, his R is now down. Uh, we just wasted Ivern's time too. And guess what's on the map, guys? Infernal. The one thing you want to do, especially in these situations, team the drag. Tell the team, hey, man, Ivern was bought. So let's grab this. Probably be a little faster than that, but that's all we want to do. Remember, E is now down. Uh, he might have no R, but he still has his cooldowns. His Q is being used right now, though. Again, I have to play off cooldowns, guys. He doesn't have items. I mean, I really need a bag, boys. I can't stress that enough. I need the bag. There's a fight happening here. I still have a level advantage on Riven, though. Oh, wow. Gragas is that low? I'm going to pop a pot here. No way. Please, please, please. Ho, 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 ho. Let's go. Let's scuffle the mid lane. It works so well. Hey, that's good, boys. That's good. And the good news is, too, he uses teleport. You know, Riven uses flash. Riven uses everything. And we got the kill. Wasted Ivern time a little bit. And we're scaling Super World of Sorcery. This is amazing, guys. This is amazing. It's a really fantastic start. Well, we're going to show this all the way in, guys. And uh, I keep saying guys. I think guys are too. Then we'll uh, reset here. See, yeah, I'm just taking it slow. Slow and steady. I'm in no major rush. Remember, we have the scaling runes. When you are running scaling runes like this, you know that you're not in any major rush. You're never in a major rush. Unless it's like a Jax. A Jax, Nasus. That might be a little different. But if it's like a Riven matchup, nah, you're in no rush. You can play it slow. You can wait for him to make a mistake. Kill him. Things like that. Um, all right. So we're going to get T-Mat. I have a choice here, guys. Do I get BF Sword? I get cool. I'm going to go BF Sword. Why am I going to go BF Sword over just getting cool? Um, cool is not... I know y'all might think, oh, RTO, you get it every game. You have to get it every game. You get it. So I need to get it. True. Not true, boys. Not true at all. Cool is a great item if you can buy it pre about nine minutes. It's still pre nine minutes. It's awesome. But BF Sword is a very awkward item to buy. It's, there's no items that build into BF Sword, but it builds in my Sojin, which is a very, very important item with my build. So, um, with, that, just with that being said, I mean, that's why I went BF Sword, because it's just super awk. Remember, Riven's going to win most extended fights, at least until Sojin, typically. That's most matchups, though. Uh, but as long as you keep doing short trades, Riven can never really beat you. Not right now. That's why. That's literally why Red is probably the biggest counter to Riven, because he just can never really win trades. Um, even if he does, win, he might win like trades softly or whatever, at most. But you have the stand advantage as long as you just keep doing short burst trades versus Riven, you're gonna be completely fine. Just never look for extended versus. I mean, that's that's kind of a given though, right? Like I feel like versus as Red you know you're a burst champion until Sojin, and uh, you need to play like it too. So one thing that's you knows on the map right now while I'm talking and explaining something. Is that we haven't got the Infernal yet. The Infernal's still on the map. I am going to shove this next wave really fast. And what I'm going to do is I am going to try to prep these waves. He's down now. I want to like get this dragon, boys. Hmm. I really need to reset though. Other guy, we got a gathering sword proc there, finally. Uh, I'm really sad about this play though, because they just died bot. So now we're probably losing Infernal, maybe. Uh, Riven could beat me here though. Very possible. Remember, I have long cooldowns. He knows that. We gotta play off that. We gotta play off our long cooldowns. We have like some advantages right now. 
But he did get his back off. I didn't get my back off yet. Like cue that. Just get a little more life still. A little more sustain here. Lost Infernal. That really blows. Another good trade. It was an empowered Evo, still another clean trade. And again, he's just getting slowly poked down. We're slowly building up to this all in right here. He's waiting for my cooldowns here. He's dead. He's waiting for he won't be taking the stake with that. I'm not gonna make this. That was very clunky right there. It was super clunky. It worked, but it was like super duper clunky. I could have played that a little bit better. No big. We got the plate there. Uh, I am going to back after this. I'm going to back instantly after this just to get my items. I have not got a chance to cash out in a hot minute. Uh, we're 2 0. Riven's really, really struggling. 103 to 74. They do have the infernal advantage. That's something we got to keep in mind. It makes Riven a little bit more annoying as this game goes on, but I could have definitely helped with the dragon. There's no reason I couldn't have rotated down there to at least help. Now, the way I look at it when it comes to dragons, okay, and this is how you should look at it for your games as well. Uh, infernal dragons and just dragons in general, uh, especially the first dragon. It's very hard for top lane to rotate. Let's say, for example, I do rotate down. Riven's going to get three waves on me. And that makes the lane where I am. I was winning small. Now I'm actually hard winning. I'm hard winning now. But I was winning small. If I make that rotational play, I come back to lane, I'm probably down three waves now. I'm down three waves of Riven. That makes the lane not so small lead. If anything, it probably gives him a lead just off of experience alone. Um, so that's why it's like the first dragon is really hard for top lane. And that's why top lane's in a rough spot because it's really hard to contest those. After first drag, though, it's typically not too difficult because it gets to about, what, like 15 minutes? Something like that. Oh, God, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Just TP in front of me. All right, well, let's take, uh, let's take what we can. Yikes. My bad, team. My bad, team. I'm too busy talking to Twitch to YouTube. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. All right, well, let's, uh, let's take what we can here. Good night. Uh, Ivern could rotate top lane. Cool thing about Ivern is... He has all shields, and you know what that means, boys? I can break it. I can break it. It's really exciting, you know? Breaking shields. Love that mechanic. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Um, so we've been back by now. I'm going to try to get some more plates here. I'm going to ward here. Why am I warding here? Just to have a little bit faster vision of Riven if he shows up. I probably will show a little bit deeper. I'm going to ping the assist me here. So if, like, what's his face comes up top lane, we just kill him. I wish it didn't rip that though. I wanted nine more waves. I wanted nine more waves, and not only that, like force a two v two on this turret with Ivern and Ribbon and the Gragas being here, because we were not gonna lose two v two. There's no way we're losing two v two. So I'm not exactly happy I played that because now I just pushed the wave in and gave Ribbon free farm. I'm just gonna give it up. I'm just gonna get my Sojin. I don't want to overstay here anyways. It's not worth it. We're just gonna go back now, reset. I mean, obviously it's not a bad call to get first blood turret, but it's not any turrets about to go down. I just felt like we could deny Ribbon some more here. And force grab the uh, Ivern to come topside, and then we just kill Ivern as well. Like I think we'd literally kill them both so easy. But like I said, it's it's fine. It's fine. That's not a bad call. It's not a bad call. I did miss the two plates though. I did miss them, but Gradus did get the plates. So Gradus got full amount of gold. I did not get the gold. Hopefully Gradus used that money to make some plays. Um. Oh well, you know what that means, guys. Her transition in more out of landing phase situation. Um. Not a bad thing. That's means I'm gonna rotate more often. Uh, the only thing is, though, I went Sojin Rush. Sojin's more of a dueling item. It's not very good at rotating because I'm just kind of slow everywhere I go. You know what? Let's just do this. I don't know. I think this will work. Oh, Sojin, man. I love it. That's just this. She's straight up fighting. It's like, bruh. Bruh, where are you going to go? See, I had no boots. I saw that. I knew I had one pair of boots. And if I just ghost, I know Ribbon's very, very fast. Just naturally, he has a lot of utility speed. But I mean, you know, the whole boot factor, the whole ghost factor, that right there. Again, it opens up so many plays with ghosts, man. That's that's why I love it so much, man. I love it so much. All right, Ivan showing bot side. We see that. Oriana's still missing the map, though. So we're going to put a ward here. So we have an idea if she does show up on our way up top side or whatever. All right, Sojourner Proc's down now. Uh, I do want to reset soonish. We'll get my last. Okay, cool. I'm taking this turret straight up. I want to save this turret, then possibly rotate the other place. I have no ulti. Yeah, I don't want to walk too much deeper. And this guy's on his way. Cool. We are just gonna walk out. <laughs> I would try to contest this, guys. But remember, my R is down for at least 12 seconds. And Fiddlestick's showing topside, and Riven's not showing. What if Riven rage quit? 
What's that? What if Riven's not showed up yet? Midwinds, by the way. I think Riven Rage quit. Do we made Riven Rage quit? With scaling runes and everything. It just Oh, he didn't rage quit. Okay, I got excited for a little bit soon. I, I saw him say midwinds, and so I thought, oh, okay, cool. You know, did he just rage quit? I got really excited. He didn't though. He didn't. So you know you lose next guys, Liam will speed on the map. I got super Renekton, excited though. Yo, dodge. rewind. Thanks for something, man. Eleven months. I hope you're going ready to party. Dude, you already know it. You already know it, bro. I'll see you there. I can't wait, dude. Tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow, so hit me up. Hey, I'll, 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 talk you, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you. Let's, uh, let's just finish this uh, game real quick. All right, so map drags on the map. These drags we can actually contest without being denied. Here's what I'm going to do first to prep this dragon. Uh, I'm not going to let Riven just shove me in and just let that happen. That's not going to go down. I'm going to walk straight here. Riven might actually walk in this bush. Very possible. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Wait, why did I dash that way? That was really bad. I'm trying to figure out how to play this. Renekton top only. If you don't I'm gonna hit this. Renekton, just dodge. Togo baby. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what he was gonna do. So I hit the blast code and he was gonna dash over the wall. I knew he was just sitting there, bro. I'm like, I'm just gonna hit the freaking blast code. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Now that's all that's good. That's fun. That's fun. Drags on the map. I'm gonna go one more wave and rotate straight there. Bro, I so knew he was gonna do that too. I so knew. I mean, he's just sitting there. That's why he wore that bush to go over the wall. <laughs> I love reading people, man. I'm walking down here just to make sure hopefully we can secure it. I don't have R this time though. Ooh, Greg is making plays though. So this is a good rotation you always do. You shove out your top lane, you go mid. Why do you go mid and shove it out? It's not in your lane, RTO. Well, Orion is here. My mid laner's dead. Sounds weird, but the lane's going to reset. Not only reset, it's going to typically well, especially Candy Wave, it's going to 100% push back to my mid laner, and it's actually going to help my mid laner out by doing this play. McGregor just died. Oh, Rihanna is a TP. We just literally, no, that's Karma's TP or Riven. Okay, cool. Like, we just got a TP. Literally, by just literally shoving a wave, we just got a TP. This is still up. Uh, I want to rotate to Dragon at the same time, though. My team is dead. To run now. I don't know else is on the way. God, that could have been so much better if I. Mm, the fear, the snare, the. Ugh. I ghosted him too. I knew I was gonna run him down. I was like, I'm going to run you down. After watching that play though, and then really looking at their comp, I'm probably thinking that you know, Merc Treads is starting to make a lot of sense right now. Merc Treads make a lot of sense. Fiddlestick fear, the snares. Uh, I've got tabbies. I saw Ribbon matchup and all that. I saw him get the Inferno. I'm like, I might need the defense first time in the one v ones. Maybe not. He's still standing for the three guys topside. Three top. Drag. Team chat is disabled? Team chat is disabled? Why is it disabled? I can't even talk to my team. Okay, they're doing it. They're doing it. They're doing it. They saw it. I can't even talk to my team, boys. Why is team chat disabled? Oh, that's so tilting. That is actually so tilting. I'm like, I can't even tell them calls. Okay, well, you typically want to say, hey, if three guys are top, you want to get the dragon. We're gonna clear this wave, probably get Scuttle Crab, and then we're gonna reset. Reset, because Scuttle Crab just, it's up right now. It should be up. Grass is taking it, and he got it. As you know, Mountain Dragon, which is got, is the tankiest dragon in the game. Not even close either. It's actually like way tanker all the other dragons. It does the least amount of damage made to the dragon, but every dragon, if y'all didn't know, and again, I know most of you guys are top mains, uh, dragons actually have like passives on them. So Mountain Dragon's the tankiest. Ocean Dragon slows you. It's not really tanky, it doesn't really have much damage, but it slows you. Um, the Infernal Dragon's AoE damage, so it hits multiple targets, and the Cloud Dragon does the most individual target damage. So, oh, just gonna put those out there. I think Ocean and Mountain are the hardest to get, though, because, I mean, I know the damage kind of high sometimes. Plus 50? Ooh. That's a... F <laughs> Whoa! You know what's bad, boys? I didn't realize Ivern's freaking going to get 50 gold. That's actually disgusting. I'm not losing this. I'm not freaking dying here today. I'm just an ulti. <laughs> I don't think it should matter. I'm backing anyways in a second, and I'm getting my unit. I'm just trying to establish priority here. I ulti because I was taking a turret dagger. I'm like, Ugh, I'm not going to get bursting. I knew Karma had her thing there. I knew Oriana could have been anywhere. I'm not taking a chance. The red buff just spawns 28 seconds. 
You know, let's actually prep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ping this. Like, hey, let's get on top of this. It spawns in 22 seconds. Let's shove this next wave out. We have no R this time though, because we just used it. Probably didn't need to, but just you know, I, I didn't want to take a chance on just inting. I didn't want to int. Sorry guys, I just didn't want to int. Okay, it's spawn. Oh, that's mine. It's theirs actually giving center. Gavin's on his way, but he's not here yet. I should be able to grab before he shows up. Ooh, buddy. What? The fiddlesticks go from literally one HP to with Karma and Ivern shield back to literally technically full H. What was that shield? That was 90%. And that, and that excites me. I just want you to know that really excites me. I cannot wait for Karma and Ivern to shield somebody and I just break the crap out of it. Can't wait. That was the fattest shield I've ever seen. That was literally, he had 10 HP and the shield went to like, like in full HP again. Like what? And that was just shields. That's crazy, man. Gosh, bless. I cannot wait to break that shield. Twitch chat, we are, well, YouTube, Twitch chat, whoever's watching this video. Hey, hey, we got to break that. <laughs> we have got to break that. <laughs> I'm going to break that shield. That is my number one goal now in this game is to break that shield. I just thought you guys should know. All right, so it looks like trying to bum rush the Baron because three guys are chasing Oriana. Guess what, boys? It sounds like a quad if you ask me. Sounds like a quad if you ask me, boys. <laughs> oh, man, these guys are crazy. <laughs> these guys are crazy. Oh, you can't ask me. Well, that's sad. I was, it was hype and... Oh! Baby! Wait. Knock up. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll take the Baron out. Thank you for the Baron, by the way. Thank you guys for starting the Baron uh, when I was topside. I mean, thank you. And that is the FF, guys. And that is how you just absolutely destroy a Riven. With scaling runes all the way around and how to just basically, not only that, you can run early game runes versus Riven, be fine, but just short trade. Short trade. Every short trade you take, as long as you start the trade off with your debut, just look at it this way. He uses E, then you keep going at him, because now his E is down. If you not use E, do your W, do your Q, and Devil Dash away. Because E is up, and any extended fight after that, you're going to hard lose. Anyways, guys, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Also, check out the RTO Academy and RTO Highlights channel for more Renekton gameplay. I'll see you guys in the next video.